Ferretti Model 860 was presented to the world at the Cannes Boat Show in 2022. Featuring standard four cabins layout, this model now has more outdoor space, light and modern interior, one-piece panoramic windows on the main deck, counts with a beach club and a spacious flybridge and has a generous garage that fits a tender and a jet ski. Welcome on board this new Ferretti 860 that was just commissioned this summer 2023 and is now for sale with Prisyatting.swiss. The difference that you notice immediately when you step on board is the layout of this aft dining space where the seats are facing uh, over the side and you have this big square shaped table in the middle and a lovely glass transom. Although the table is huge, you have more than enough space here on the aft. Here on the sides, you have uh, additional compartment where there is a side docking station on this uh, port side with the thruster controls and also engine controls. And here the cleats and also electric winches have been raised and also hidden under this heavy lid to protect your feet when you walk around the deck. On the both sides of the aft, there are staircases that lead down to the bathing platform, which is hydraulic bathing platform and it submerges one meter down the water and uh, uh, it's needed, of course, to launch the tender and jet ski that are hidden in this garage. And also when you are at anchor, you probably will use this place as a nice beach club. Also, the bathing platform is equipped with carbon poles to hold this awning that creates additional shade for this area. And as you can see, the garage can fit 4 meter tender and the jet ski. Since this yacht has outstanding outdoor spaces, I would like to continue showing you the sidewalks and the bow. So here on the sidewalks or the side decks, we have the cut out bulwarks along it. And in combination with this floor to ceiling hole windows, it gives a really good look over the ocean from the inside the saloon. And the bulwarks are really tall, like about the waist height, which protects well this area. And the flybridge overhang give a good shelter all along the ways of this side decks. The bow area is quite distinguished. So there are two forward-facing lounge chairs with the armrest in between covered in teak and the U-shaped uh, dining area with a pop-up backrest over here. Then you can put like this and sit around it and maybe have your dinner here. There's also additional pockets for uh, bottles or maybe uh, cups that you can put over here. And it's nice that this area can be covered with this sun awning, which is fixed on these carbon poles. Going forward, there is a working deck station. We have two anchor arrangements and uh, cleats and fair leads. So these anchors are eight kilograms each with the anchor chain of 60 meters. We access the saloon through this automatically operated sliding door and immediately feel the serenity and calmness that radiates from this minimalistic yet posh interior design with freestanding furniture and floor-to-ceiling panoramic windows. On the starboard side, you have built-in switches for your lights over here. There is also air conditioning control unit uh, and you have uh, switches for the curtains, which are automatically operated on this boat. There is also nice low-level comfy sofa, the coffee table and a really fluffy, nice carpet over here. And the built-in furniture on this boat has really nice rounded corners and thin lines with this stitched leather over here. And this cabinet holds uh, some uh, dishes and also cutlery over here. And here, again, the smoked mirror on this panels. We have additional storage here and the storage for the fire extinguishers. In front of the sofa, we have this low level feature 75 inch TV. And over here, there is a staircase that leads to the lower deck where there are four guest cabins. And here we have the inside dining area with a round table and eight chairs. And this area can be freshened up with a touch of a button because this window slides open and provides nice sea breeze inside the saloon. On the both sides of the saloon, there are built-in panels that hold additional storage. This one, for example, is a cup holders. And moving forward, there's additional storage over here. 
which hides the wine cooler and the fridge for drinks. The living area of the saloon is cleverly divided from the working area, which is the galley and the crew quarters, by these pocket doors right here, so the owner can have his privacy with the guests, and also this one to separate helm station and crew area. And behind this door, we have a day head, which features a really big window, which can be covered, of course, by this sliding curtain over here, the mirror, the sink, and just in front of it, there is a galley with commercially uh, certified appliances. We have the uh, hob here with five induction burners, the big professional oven over here, nice working surfaces, nice and clean, more storage behind these compartments, and a full height fridge over here. This sliding door gives access to the helm station on the main deck and also the crew quarters down below. And the helm station has this lovely dinette over here with two chairs to oversee the navigation. And the panels over here, the control panel is equipped with three big Simrad displays. You can pull out anything you want. It can be chart plotter, it can be boat management system. And still the control panel over here has a very classic management system. You can see all the alarms coming up, the bilge alarm, uh, navigation light, so you can operate it from here or from the standard Naviop control panel. Over here we have the control unit for the gyro stabilizer, which is model 18, Sea Keeper on this boat. The engine monitors, the Humphrey trim tabs, the bow and stern thruster, the engine controls, autopilot, and of course this nice featured Paltrona Frau captain seats. So it's very well equipped helm station on this boat. The stairs over here lead to the crew area, which is located in front of the boat. There are two crew cabins, both and suite, and one has two bunk beds and another one has one bunk bed. So in total you can have three crew members. And over here we have a laundry set, which consists of the washer and dryer, both by Hoover. Going down this beautiful curved staircase under lid under every step, we arrive on the lower deck, which accommodates four cabins and the master cabin is located here at the stern. The master cabin has the most serene vibe because of these colors and natural materials and also it has additional soundproof insulation, so it's very quiet here. There is a double bed in the middle with this beautiful curved back head framed with stainless steel and with built-in switches for your lights and for your curtains. Right in front of it there is a smoked mirror paneling with a built-in 55 inch TV. So on the starboard side, there is a nice desk over here with a vanity unit right here and a featured full width window over here, which has automatically operated curtains. One is a blackout blind and another one is this white linen curtain. And over here we have a walking wardrobe with a lot of drawers and additional storage for your clothes. Coming back to the port side, there is additional storage behind this panel, which you can use also as a wardrobe. It has quite a lot of depth. And here we have the nice two seats sofa, big window over here with the opening porthole. And behind this glass door, there is the end suite bathroom. This section over here has a toilet and bidet, and it closed with this transparent glass door. And over here we have two sink configuration with uh, additional storage underneath of it and beautiful walk-in shower. It's quite big, covered with a cream marble over here. It has the rain effect shower and a pull out shower as well. Coming outside of the master cabin and moving down the hall, we see this featured smoke mirror panels over here and also some upholstered panels and we enter the double cabin on the starboard side with a queen-size bed over here, the mirror paneling and also this featured curved back head, bed head with the built-in switches over here. And in front of the bed there is a like an art piece, the mirror which is framed again with a stainless steel which hides 55 inch TV here as well. Moving to this side there is a wardrobe behind the door which has lots of storage space 
and the double cabin has ensuite bathroom which is quite spacious with a sink uh, toilet over here there is an opening porthole in the window and walking shower with a rain effect shower and also pull out shower coming out of the double cabin just across the hall there is a twin cabin on the port side with this mirror paneling on the back wall which makes it look a, like a bigger cabin there is a full width window over here which provides a lot of natural light and behind this full height mirror there is a wardrobe of course for the twin cabin and behind this door there is an ensuite bathroom with a nice size shower the toilet the sink and the mirror moving further forward we arrive to the vip cabin which is arranged differently on this model of ferretti it is arranged across the beam so this double bed is facing across the beam which creates additional leg room and more space to move around this cabin right here there is one more uh, vanity unit over here and the wardrobe behind this wooden panel which has additional shelves for your clothes and in front of the queen-size bed there is a featured TV moving to the end suite bathroom there is a sink over here with additional storage below it the mirror in front of it the set of the toilet and uh, bidet and behind this glass door there is a shower with additional pocket over here so you can move easily while taking the shower we arrive to the flybridge by this sturdy staircase with a solid supports on the both sides and arrive to the open and really wide and spacious flybridge which has everything that you would wish for on the 86 footer yacht the aft section of the flybridge is unloaded and only has this freestanding pieces of furniture which look a bit futuristic to me with this nice side tables the transom uh, is presented as a inclined railing which is not obstructing the view and you can see over to the ocean and this area is also well protected as it has this sun awning which is fixed on these two carbon poles moving to the dining area on the flybridge which is presented by this long dining table which is placed along this low level comfy sofa and this table actually has this central piece that can be moved out and you have two separate tables or a big extended dining table also this uh, ferretti has a hardtop with panoramic glass ceiling over here and really well equipped and generous bar so the wet bar has an ice maker over here and additional storage space behind these lockers as well as the sink and a lot of working surface and over here there is a grill with a traditional one and also teppanyaki grill and there is a drinks fridge behind this locker and this area can be nicely hidden under this heavy lid here in the front there is integrated sunbathing area which is quite generous and it's smartly placed a bit lower than the windshield so when you're here you're not directly exposed to the wind and right in front of it there is a control station over here with everything you would need to navigate the boat you have the two simrad um, touch displays over here you have the engine controls the hydraulic bow and stone thrusters you have humphrey trim tabs the simrad autopilot the searchlight vhf engine monitors so everything that you would need on this 86 footer yacht the access to the engine room is located on the starboard side so i'll meet you down there to show the equipment the engine room is nice and clean and quite roomy you have another access to it through this hatch over here that leads to the aft deck and here we have two MAN engines b12 2000 horsepower each one on the both sides we have two generators on 27 kilowatts and right behind there is a, a stabilizer sea keeper and the main unit for the air conditioner over here there is a water maker and water softener and just behind there is a Sleipner hydraulic unit for the bow and stone thrusters as you can see at night the boat illuminates beautifully with the built-in lights in the ceiling and under the stairs and also underwater lights 
and the name is beautifully illuminated here on the transom. Ferretti created this stylish and nimble cruiser capable of reaching over 30 knots with a lot of interior space and a beautiful minimalistic interior design. If you want to jump a waiting list and own a brand new boat, fully equipped, ready to go, this one is for you. Happy to take your call, answer all of your questions and provide you a personal tour. And thank you for watching this video. We speak yachting, let's talk.